Bo here and welcome to my channel. Today I have Keegan with me. Actually, I'm with Keegan. But, so anyways, uh, he came in the hostel like three or four days ago and was like, hey, I'm gonna go to this cave out in the middle of nowhere that has snakes that like dangle and they like, the bats flander and grabs it. And I was like, well that sounds like cool. He says, but I don't know if we can get down there. So I somehow found a way down here via bus and um, here we are in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. So long story short, we left uh, Valdez this morning about 9.30, rode to Meridia, got there about noon, ate lunch at Subway. You guys don't care where we ate, but ate lunch at Subway. And then at one o'clock, we left Meridia and rode another three hours down to Jose Maria Morales, I believe it's called. And now we have another 25 minutes to where the caves are in the bats. Our guides are waiting for us outside. So yeah, long story short, this should be very interesting. This is not what normal tourists do. So we're in the car, heading to the bat cave, I believe. And uh, he's freaking out. He might say it, but he is. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm nervous now because Keegan's all professional. He, he got me all mic'd up. Like, we're serious now. This is no amateur bow nights adventures no more. He's gonna catch every word I say <laughs> to myself and every word I mumble under my breath like about him too, which is really weird. I'd rather just record it in your pocket and then sync it up later. Still, you're putting my shotgun mic to shame. Well, I have one of them, <laughs> I have one of them actually. <laughs> the place that we're going today to film, I just found out, our lovely translator here hasn't been either. So we're taking her on a new experience as well. It's new for everyone. Just made it to the Cave of Serpents. Keegan's right over there, doing a time lapse of the street, I believe. We have a little bit of time before sunset. Sunset and the bats all fly out and the snakes just go crazy. And then <sighs> they said there's an odd wheel chance we'll get bit, but I think they're just trying to scare us, I hope. This is like crazy. I heard about I heard about this online. Absolutely crazy. Um, who? How did this get discovered? How did the cave get discovered? Was this the antes que nada? Creepy also, and they didn't know it. They just know it was a cave, only a cave. But when they go inside, they discover there was a lot of things to discover, uh, like bats. Um, how long is have you worked here? Since the beginning, 21 years ago. Yeah. So you saw the first snake eat the first bat. Well, es cuando lo vimos por primera vez ya tenía el murciélago. Entonces ese ese atractivo de la serpiente cuando pasa el murciélago lo hemos visto. Muy escasa. Oh my god, what's this guy? Oh shit, that's not good. Is it alright? Yeah, I think so. I can't believe that actually happened. <laughs> that is insane. That's super, super. Oh my god. Do you think it's good? Yeah. Camera? Yeah, yeah it's fine. They're pretty sturdy. <laughs> yeah, okay, but, but yeah, no, it's somehow, I think that, yeah, that just caught it. I think it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Wow. Is that the universe trying to tell us something right there? <laughs> that that log just <laughs> fell onto the camera. You know, We're all good though. We're fine. Okay. Is it that the serpent cat? Right. Trying to He's trying. That's what I said. He's trying to tell yeah, us something. Yeah. Don't go in this cave. That's what that was. <laughs> I don't know. So without further ado, let's go in this cave. Let's go. <laughs> So we just got, I was filming an interview and I set my camera up right here. My, my brand new, like, we don't, we don't even want to talk about the cost. And that log, like literally just like smashed it right there. It was still rolling, fell on the ground. 
broke my gorilla pod but i think it's lifetime warranty but yeah like it was pretty like scary the guy our guide that doesn't speak english was like yeah it's like the serpent god's telling you that like he's trying to tell you something or like that's real comforting buddy thanks pound it i know nothing <laughs> no no yes all right Mm. You want to go now? Yeah. Okay, cool. So this is going to be really interesting. I promised the doctor that I wouldn't ride a bike for another four days. So I tell I'm successfully on a bike. I've almost already wrecked a bike and fell over, so. Ask permission to the cave to go inside. Okay. Okay. Seriously. <laughs> We're all good. Oh, I missed the, and I missed the crash. Did you really? Yeah, I did. Oh, I already got this one. Oh, it's all good. Oh, good, good. That was it. Woo! I got it on GoPro though. <laughs> they really don't want us to come, eh? First wipe out. Keegan did an end over and I missed it all. I got it on GoPro though. Scraped up a bit, but we're gonna keep on going. I almost lost a $3,000 camera. Keegan almost lost a leg. What else could go wrong? You guys know any cool biking fun? Um, the wheels on the bike go round and round, round and round, round and round. Uh, the butt on the seat really hurts all the next day. Fucking crash. <laughs> The Keegan on the bike goes over his handlebars. <laughs> Straight to the cave. We made it to the cave, I think, or a pit stop. Keegan's all good, his camera's all good. My gorilla pod's broken, but my, my actual camera's good, so that's bonus. My goal is, to, I brought three cameras into the jungle, I wanna bring three cameras out of the jungle. Just going down to the entrance of the cave. Through the jungle, a lot of mosquitoes. Put on my raincoat to maybe stop them and try not to fall down this hill. Amazing. Is the enter of the cave. La única entrada y la única salida de la cueva de las serpientes colgantes. Is the unique entrance and exit. Perfect. Esta es la cueva que tenemos donde habitan seis especies de murciélagos que son frutívoros y los insectívoros. Y cuando cae la tarde en estos momentos es cuando estas especies salen en la selva en busca de su alimento, frutos silvestres y los insectos prácticamente. Y ese movimiento que hacen los murciélagos al salir es cuando las serpientes sienten ese Ese movimiento salen de sus huecos de la cueva en, en buscar en un lugar cómodo para colgarse y pasar el murciélago. There's six different types of bats and uh, the serpents wait for the right time when the, they feel the bat is gonna uh, go out. Okay, right. So they wait for the right time yeah, they and then they strike. Time. Yeah. Just made it to the bat cave. I don't know if you can see the bats <laughs> flying behind me or not. Oh yeah, you can. I don't think so. So going so, into yeah. the bat cave, we have to be careful. Yeah. Got it. And we just, are, are, are we going to ask for permission to go in the cave or not? Yeah, no. Not at the right time. Okay. 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 He already took permission. Okay, oh, good. He, good. So he asked for permission already. Yeah. We're fine. <laughs> okay, muy bueno. Just suddenly occurred to me I'm dressed like a surgeon. Bueno, 
I'll turn off the light. I'll turn off that one. Yep. Yeah. There's going to be yeah. no light there, so that light in the sunset is the last uh, light we're going to see in the few... ¿En cuánto tiempo? ¿Media hora? ¿De qué? ¿Que vamos, no vamos a tener luz? Ahorita no es unos segundos, unos minutos. Like a few minutes. <laughs> Platicar lo más sencillo que se pueda. Quiet? Yeah. Okay. What was, what, what was that? That was a bat. No. War. Somebody no. farted. No. Oh, the glove. The glove. Maybe the bat fought it. But yeah, so we're gonna go into the cave. This is a no light zone. Don't know how we're gonna walk. We'll figure that out as we go. There's gonna be lights when we get down there. There should be lights once we get down there. Just one. Just one. Uno light. That's basically like coronavirus. <laughs> oh my god, that... I thought I came down here to see snakes, but what I really wanted to say was bad shit. <laughs> We just got out of the first, I guess, cave. This is not for the faint of heart, is it? Keegan, speak you... for yourself, buddy. <laughs> My heart's faint and I'm having a great time. Oh. oh, I mean, you're crawling on your knees and that shit for like a long ways. It's a lot of fun, but man, yeah. it's bad. Good? Oh, it's very good. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for, for all the Ooh. bat shit though, it actually doesn't smell that bad. It kind of smells like dried up chicken poop. Speaking of <sighs> speaking of bat shit, I got some on my water. Huh. What, mm. is your, mm, what does it taste like? Like shitty water. <laughs>
That was the tightest cave so far. You do this all the time. You had like two foot up, maybe one foot on both sides, and then like a direct drop. Like whenever you're climbing down. So it was super, super tight. Watch that snake for probably about 10 minutes, but it really didn't do anything. So I think we're taking a short break and then we're going to go back in and see if we can see something. Mm. So there's a little change of plans. Rather than going back into the cave, <laughs> we're going to go down to a waterfall or where the water is like a cenote. We're going to go down to a cenote. So I need to pay attention or I'm going to bust my ass. Kidding me? So that's like fruit that the bats brought back in here and dropped back down. So there's like seven different species of bats in here. So one in species obviously eats fruit, or is just a fruit order. So you actually can't swim in this cenote because there's the fish and shrimp in here are actually close to it being extinct and uh, not to mention it's full of bad shit. All this stuff on the ceilings is like seashells, just like uh, fossils from like they said hundreds of millions of years ago, right? Yeah. yeah. It's pretty it's pretty awesome. Is this the third part of the tour? Hey, let's see. So we went, we crawled through the cave, saw the snakes, and then we went down to like the bottom of the cenote. And then now we are here where we're looking at all the fossils. Um, it's part of that Asian animal in the sea. We uh, just got out of the cave. We're about to take off our gloves. We had to wear them so we did not like contaminate the bats, I guess. I don't know. But it was pretty nice because I don't have shit all over my fingernails and stuff, which is which is always a plus. Just made it back to the bikes. And I'm gonna put my camera away to ride back because we almost wrecked them like multiple times coming here because all the rocks and everything and we're just horrible bike riders. Oh no. With a very damp light on your helmet. Made it back. I knew it was gonna be like that. Survived the bike ride. Probably gonna have to go back to the chiropractor on Monday from a side to come sure, but it was definitely worth it. A lot of crawling on the ground. I'm hoping now that we can go find a cerveza. They may they might have a cerveza, but cerveza and some food for supper. This is like 8 o'clock at night and I'm hungry. We made it back to town. We are discussing, and we're getting dinner, but we're discussing the prospect of possibly staying here tonight. And then also going to a uh, eco tour tomorrow. But if we stay here tonight, we'll stay in the jungle. But we'll have to discuss the price and figure out how much it's all going to cost. Just sat down at dinner, had a Roman Coke, just ordered a Michelada. I am exhausted though. 
Yeah. My eyes even like bad, but first things first, got an El Pastor taco. So I'm gonna give this one, I'm actually gonna give this one a nine. The meat is seasoned perfect. <laughs> it, has, it has avocado on it, onions, like I mean, we're gonna rate this one a nine. Next. I got my go-to, which is a torta, but this is a, this is a Hawaiian torta. It's a mess, so I don't know if I'm be able to pick it up and taste it. It's pretty awesome. It has a giant tomato on it. It's like an onion. Definitely has avocado. Some lettuce. I'm gonna give that one an eight. It's incredible. That's a torta. 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 Oh my goodness. Just got back from dinner in the back cave. I am exhausted. It is 11 o'clock. Last couple of nights I only got like five hours of sleep. But it was an awesome experience. I highly, highly recommend it. However, if you're squeamish about being in tight spaces, if you don't like bats or snakes, like this is not the tour for you. If you want to do something super weird in Mexico though, that you're like, something you can like brag about your friends with, get some awesome footage. This is the thing for you. And if you want to get a, hook, get a hold of them, just send me a DM on Instagram and I can get you in touch with the right people. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bo out. So it is the next day. I'm hanging out in Jose Maria Morales for another couple hours till my bus leaves at four. But I was going to give you guys a whole rundown on what this whole like going to the snake cave cost for all of our transportation uh down here it costs probably about a thousand pesos to get down here and back and on top of that the snake cave costs about 600 pesos so we're up to 1600 and then the accommodation last night cost 450 but we split that too so like 225 so right at, by the time you add in food and everything else, you're talking a 2,000 peso, 24 hours to get all the way down here and back, which equivalates, I think that's the word, uh, adds up to like $100 US to do this trip. But I mean, it's a pretty, it's a pretty awesome trip to do, but it's definitely not for the faint of heart. And if you don't like snakes, I would definitely not go. If you don't like bats, if you don't like tight places, like the only reason why we did this is because it's something different. So thank you so much for watching. Please, please like and subscribe. And like always, bow out. Are you ready? We've been in the cave for about five days now. It's actually only been about half an hour, but it feels like five days. <laughs> Snakes coming down from the roof. Um, it's dark in there so we can't film too much but there, there's snakes in there and um yeah that's so much fun we're going back in that's how fun it is